almost lost my, my pinky, almost lost my hand, um, and apparently I almost died. My name is Joshua. My wife and I are missionaries in Chicagoland. We are busy leading a ministry called Global Mercy Missions. About a week ago, I woke up and I had a, a splinter in my pinky, or it felt like a, a spider had bit my, my pinky's knuckle. But then on Monday afternoon, I started noticing the swelling to increase just very slowly. Um, and it got stiff and it got painful um, to the point where Monday night, when I was brushing my teeth to go to bed, I started shaking um, with fever pains and I was hot and cold and started vomiting. And within 15 hours of that starting, didn't sleep the whole night, I was just vomiting the whole time. Within 15 hours, we were in ER um, the next day, Tuesday, and um, they rushed me into surgery, um, opened up my hand, which had swell, swollen all the way past my, my wrist, um, down my arm, and they, yeah, they just opened up my hand and um, flushed out about a liter worth of, of pus and decayed um, flesh from a flesh-eating bacteria. Almost lost my pinky, like he says it ate through, it ate through the fat in my pinky um, and started to eat my, my, um, my veins. This pain is something I've never felt before. Um, the doctor uh, opened up my, my hand um, he, he lifted up the layer of skin um, and he got underneath there to flush out all of the, the flesh-eating bacteria. My veins were collapsing and dying and decaying. He does not know if he got it all. If he didn't, he'll have to go back in. I'm under observation because of that. You might lose feeling. Um, you, you, you probably won't be able to use your pinky in the same way. All of these things that you, you have to go through, right? And yeah, just waking up in excruciating pain. And I remember um, I remember the, this one morning, Rachel was asleep on the, on the couch. I woke up at like five in the morning. The room's dark and the pain just hits me. My drugs had worn off and I had slept two hours past the next dosage. Um, and I woke up with this pain and I, I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't move. I'm just in pain. And all I know is I need to push that button and I don't know how I'm going to get there because I'm just crunched up in pain. And I pushed the button and I could feel God's presence as I was saying, help Jesus, help. And I could feel the fear and the anxiety and all that creep in. This is not going to get better. Um, this is what it's going to feel like for the next four months. Um, all of that stuff, just wave after wave. And I said, you know what, God, even if, if this is my worst moment of pain, I will still lift up my hand. And I started raising my hand up and I say, I will praise you, God. And I just started to praise him. I started to thank him. Um, I started to give him my adoration. And the pain didn't go away <laughs> straight away. Um, but these, this overwhelming, like, his presence just with, instead of the waves of fear, the waves of his presence just cascaded over my heart. And I knew I was going to be okay. <laughs> it's still painful. It aches even now. I can feel the achiness. God is good. It's so cliche. It's the truth. And this Bible verse stood up to me. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows those who trust in him. Nahum 1 verse 7. God's goodness is our stronghold. And the only time we use that stronghold of goodness is in the day of trouble. But these are just awesome opportunities for me to praise God in a way that I've never been able to praise him. That's an awesome opportunity for me to turn what my physical experience is and praise God for who he is and not how I'm experiencing him. In heaven, I'm never going to be able to do that again. I have seen too many miracles to say, God, what I'm experiencing is too bad for me to praise you. Too many.
I mean, on Saturday, we saw, um, <laughs> saw heart, hearts healed, we saw asthma healed, we saw back pain healed, we saw arthritis go. Um, just because of moments where I took this hand and I laid my hands on the sick and I saw them heal. If you're going through a hard time, a hard season of pain, no matter what it is, trauma is trauma, right? Um, this is the this is the time where you have the access to the stronghold of God's goodness in the day of trouble.